went out and asked you what you wanted. You said you wanted better coaches. Now every teenage coach must attend a teenage coaching module. So now you can register for rugby. Hi, Makere here, and I'm just looking for my mate Sunny. He must be already in school. He likes to get here early. This is Random Rugby. Are you copying me? We're not even in an exam. What are you talking about? What are you up relax, to? Relax, relax, not you. So did you ever cheat in an exam at school? Never. Really? Maybe. <laughs> what little cheating tactics did you use? Uh, the old writing on the thigh. Oh yeah? Inside here, you ever do that? I did the leg one, but I wrote on a little piece of, a little notepad, and I put it in my pocket, and then I'd ask the teacher to go to the toilet. So I'd go to the toilet, quickly have a look. It was always the science symbols and the math symbols, and then go back in and I'd remember them. And did you pass? Did actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie! <laughs> nah, she passed. I didn't. How good is table tennis? Do you think you could beat an All Black? You have played this game before, right? It's Makere versus the All Blacks. Who would you bet on? All right, Ryan, you ready for a big match of table tennis? Oh, I think so. I'm all warmed up, ready to go, so um, you better watch out. Nice. Right. So, that's actually not your bat. This that's is not... your bat here. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll be playing with this one. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay. I'll figure this out. Yeah. Good luck. Good game. Good game. Let's do it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh! That's in, isn't it? That's a cat. Okay, okay. I'm playing off the walls. I thought I'd give you the survey. Oh, that's not yet. Great serve! <laughs> Good start. Right, zero one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Out! Damn it. Right. Zero two. Zero three. Here we go. Could not be a down trap. Go in for the down trap. Oh. Close. Come back starts. Five one. Oh, yes. Oh, comeback's on. <laughs> Rally of the day. Oh, and no. Got it. All right, we'll pull something out of the back here. Century, match point. Match three. It's going to be a heck of a comeback. Oh. <laughs> 11 3. Oh. Good game. Yeah, good game. You did pretty good. Bit of practicing to do maybe practice. before the next I rematch, eh? I anticipated um, my weapon of choice, but. Might have to get out and practice with one of these, eh? What was your favourite training camp? Training camp? I'd have to say training camp, going into the All Blacks. When we first go into the All Blacks, we go into a, they take us into this big room and there's different stations set up all around the room. Uh, shoes, boots, glasses, even phones. So um, we get to choose what we want. So it's pretty cool. It's the first time when you go in an All Black environment. Uh, 
the probably favourite training camp. I'm not sure if I could say training. I could say hardest training camp would probably be when I was playing in France. We did a training camp where we had to do a walk. Um, you know, walking doesn't seem too hard, but when you're walking for 12 hours or eight out, 10 hours or whatever it was, um, it wasn't too fun. So us island boys in the team, we finished it in about 12 hours, but the other boys finished it in about 10. What about you? Well, my toughest training camp would have been um, training with all the top New Zealand players in New Zealand. Tough because it, it's when you get selected for the New Zealand team, so you've got to kind of prove that you're good enough. And they have all these testing stations, so they test everything, how fast you are. Your, we do fitness tests, skin folds, everything. And then if you make the cut, then you make the team. So it's pretty tough, but it's a pretty cool environment because you're around all the top players and it gives you a bit of motivation. Awesome. Hi, I'm all Blake, Victor Vito. Big Vic to all my adoring entourage. I'm all back, Corey James. People call me handsome. I mean, CJ. And welcome to the Rugby Clinic. The Rugby Clinic is an intense two-day camp for new rugby players keen to learn the basic skills. If we can't improve your game out of sight, then you're out of sight. OK, my young apprentices, I've got a question for you. How much is a try worth? Five points. That's right. Points on the board for sure. Most people think scoring the try is the most important thing. Mm -mm, but it ain't. Oh, no, it ain't. Fill them in, Big Vic. It's the next thing that you do that really makes the grade, gets you onto the highlight reel. Your celebration, it's your time to shine. Watch and learn. <laughs> nice. Oh, there we go. Go, Siege. Go. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> you are a light. Give me a tip. <laughs> Think they liked it. Oh, jeez, what's the time? Oh, my god, we're missing Shoreland Street. What are the training exercises that you just hate to do when you rock up to training one day? Uh, it depends. Usually early in the week, I don't, I'm not really too keen on doing the contact sessions, especially when you have to tackle someone like Owen Franks or Ben Franks. Uh, so yeah, probably the contact sessions. This is SBW Skills, and today I'm gonna show you how I fend. If you've got a good fend, you're gonna break a lot of tackles. You put that together with a good side step, you're gonna score a lot of tries. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into the tackle like you're gonna beat them first before actually doing the fend. So what I'm trying to do is, like we learned before with the side step, slow down the feet, step, transfer the ball to your furthest arm away from the defender. Then if he happens to make a side tackle on you, then you can use your fend. Push him away and then power away for the try. And here it is in real speed. If you want to be serious, then you've got to get one of these. It's called a medicine ball. And when it comes to getting strong, it's just what the doctor ordered. This works the shoulder, elbow, wrist, back and chest. Just about everything, including your coordination. If you do 100 of these a week, then a rugby ball is going to feel like a feather. Sao Paulo, Brazil, a city of 12 million people 
of 8 million cars and a handful of Kiwi girls playing puka. Hey, puka! 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 It's the day before tournament in Brazil. 22-year-old Sarah Goss is leading her captain's run and for one of the players, there's some bad news. Uh, she's lost the odds game, so she's got to put her face in the mud. You've got 10 seconds. Oh. Don't breathe in. Oh. Oh. Ten, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> hey, making the pass. Number seven, Tyler and eight more. The night before tournaments, whether in Russia, China or Brazil, the girls are each presented their jersey. It's seriously emotional. And they know come dawn, the sisters will be all business. Yeah. And it's time to be break out. We were set up for benefits in the state house. Living like they were given us to make out. This is a rare insight behind the scenes with the New Zealand rugby team. In the changing room, it's quite cool because it's just us and with the flag and stuff, it reminds us of being back home. A chance to see the pre match rituals, the walls lined with history, the inspiration for a team in the black jersey. So that's my dad when he first made the All Blacks in 1984. And um, that's the photo that they had in the newspaper with my mum and dad. I like having my sisters um, beside me and on my arm. The mood here is one of nervous energy, of confidence. You've got to get into the zone, and different people have different personalities. I'm just the quietest one. I keep quiet in the corner. I just don't say anything to anyone. Don't get smart to the coaches. I heard you're the cheekiest in the locker room. The cheekiest? Me? Who said that? Tell me who said that. You're going to get a down chair and a belly flop. <laughs> And if you thought these girls could dance, you should see them play seven. Reigning World Series champs, reigning World Cup champs. In Brazil, they grafted, they triumphed. Another series win for the... When you hear sisters, when you hear women sevens in New Zealand, um, man, watch out for us, because we're going to go all the way.